today we are going to discuss about the reciprocity theorem okay now for this circuit i want to verify the reciprocity theorem at this branch okay at this branch i want to verify the reciprocity theorem okay now before interchanging the sources after interchanging the sources the response must be same that means iab dash is equal to iab double dash then the reciprocity theorem is verified now this is the given circuit that means original circuit okay for this circuit determine the current to this branch by using any technique here i am applying the mesh analysis you can apply nodal or current division rule or any technique okay but i am applying the mesh analysis here okay now this is my loop one current that is i1 and this is my loop two current i2 okay now write uh, write in the loop equation so it is one into i1 plus here i1 i2 both are in the same direction if you observe here at this branch both are in the same direction so that's why it is 2.2 into i1 plus i2 is equal to old rise is 15 now rewrite this equation then you will get this equation after rewriting okay similarly write the loop two equation now say at this branch 2.2 into i2 plus i1 both are same direction i2 plus i1 plus 1 into i2 is equal to 0 again rewrite this equation you will get this equation 2.2 i1 plus 3.2 i2 is equal to 0 if you solve these two equations then you will get i1 as 8.88 and i2 as minus 6.11 okay but our requirement is current through this branch when i am assuming the current direction this is my assumption this is my assumption that means it is in the upper direction when i assume the current okay but here i got result as negative okay but the current is always in terms of positive so that is the reason why the direction which i taken is wrong direction we need to interchange the direction from upward to downward that means anti clockwise sorry anti clockwise to clockwise we need to interchange that means simply it is the downward direction the current through the iab dash is six point double why because previously it is upward direction because of upward direction we got minus okay if you want this one as positive just interchange from upward to downward now this is the downward direction six point double one milliamps okay now this interchange the sources now see here i'm interchanging the sources now interchange these two sources this one and this one after interchanging the voltage source must be in series with this resistance now see here voltage source is in series with the one kilo and this voltage source must be short circuited if you observe it this is short circuited now determine the current to the short circuited branch by using any technique okay again here also i'm applying the mesh analysis now this is my loop current directions whereas this is i1 loop and this is my i2 loop okay now say so one into i1 plus one second uh, here i take in the directions are for this i take in this direction for this clockwise direction it is clockwise direction now it is i1 it is i2 now see here 1 into i1 plus 2.2 into here both are in the same direction i1 i2 both are in the same direction it is 2.2 into i1 plus i2 is equal to 0 now read this equation 3.2 i1 plus 2.2 i2 is equal to 0 okay now write the loop to equation similarly so here 2.2 into i2 plus i1 plus here it is only i2 current is flowing so it is 1 into i2 is equal to old is equal to 15 again read this equation 2.2 i1 plus 2.2 one it is 3.2 i2 is equal to 15. now if you solve this equation one equation two you will get i1 is equal to minus 6.11 i2 is equal to 8.88 milliamps okay now let's see here now see here i got here i got now i got the current as 6.11 milliamps why because i want current to this branch which current is moving to this branch 
I1 current. Okay, but according to my assumption, see here, it is moving like this, moving like this, moving like this. At this branch, it is moving in the upward direction. Because of this upward direction, I got the result as negative. Now we need to interest in the direction from upward to downward to get the positive value. Okay, so that is the reason I place 6.11 milliamps in the downward direction. Okay, now see here, before interchanging, after interchanging, the current is same. Hence, the reciprocity theorem is verified. Similarly, you can solve for 20 volts, 25 volts, 30 volts. Okay. In both the cases, we got same value. So, the reciprocity theorem is verified. Thank you.